Schambreit. Ja. Ja, was? Ja. Sitzt sich da? Oder? Ja, ist egal. Klar, Fleisch. Scheiße, hä? Ja. Ja. Ach. Normal, as you know. Just make sure that it's not getting dark. Ja, ja. Definitely. Hi everyone. Thanks for making the trip, guys. Um, we're going to start in the room, and then we'll come to the call. If there's any questions on there, do you guys want to just raise your hands virtually? As you can see, joined by Manu, um, who'd like to begin. Tim, go ahead, mate. Hi, Manu. Um, first of all, congratulations on the new contract. Thank you. Um, was it a tough choice to re-sign? Because I think a lot of Arsenal fans felt, and then you gave an interview uh, I think in Austria earlier in the year, and you said you were thinking about it, and Arsenal signed Sabrina D'Angelo. I think a lot of people wondered whether you might leave. Was it a, a tough choice to, to re-sign? Do you want me to repeat that? Fine, I understand everything. So um, okay. thanks for your question. Um, no, it wasn't tough at all. Um, I'm happy at the club. I'm, I'm thankful, like uh, what I've achieved so far as a person on and off the pitch. So for me, it's always good to be competitive, not also like with my team together, but also in my little small uh, GK group. So um, yeah, it wasn't a tough decision at all. I'm happy that I'm staying for another season and I'm um, looking forward to the game tomorrow. That's all what I can say about it. And uh, just uh, ahead of tomorrow as well, obviously coming back to Bayern for the first time, I think, since you signed. Um, is that, I don't want to say a strange feeling, but how does it feel to be kind of coming back to, to play at Bayern? It's always good to come back. I mean, I've played uh, for Bayern Munich five years, so it's been a long time. And um, yeah, I'm also thankful what yeah, Bayern brought me up all that years and how I developed myself. So um, yeah, I love Bayern Munich. I love also Munich itself. Um, it's close to my family. But tomorrow I'm wearing another jersey and um, that's what I'm playing for. So I play for Arsenal now, but yeah. Looking back, I'm, I'm grateful. I'm, yeah, happy what I've achieved with Bayern, but yeah, as I've said, tomorrow I'm wearing another jersey and I'm also happy with that. Anything else in the room? Any further questions in the room? If not, we'll come to the... Yes, yourself at the back there. Um, another question for you, uh, Manuela. Um, how do you uh, rate Bayern's attacking players? I mean, never underestimate anyone. I think uh, Bayern has a good quality, no matter in which position. So, um, yeah, of course, we analyze them, no matter on which position. So, um, yeah, as I've said, like, they have, like, good quality, like, having forwards, but midfielders, everyone. So, yeah, as we know, Bayern has, in general, like, a good quality team. So that's why they're also in the Champions League. And um, that's why we're hopefully seeing a competitive uh, game tomorrow with a positive outcome for Arsenal. Anything else in the room? If not, we'll come to questions from the call. If anyone wants to ask a question via Zoom, um, you can put your hand up now. Dan. Hi, my name. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just want to ask, um, you know, what it would mean to you to win the Champions League, you know, particularly, you know, after just signing your new contract? I mean, if I would win the Champions League, it would mean the world, of course. Uh, such a great tournament and yeah, competing have so, uh, so many good teams and if you lift off the trophy, I mean, I guess I would be speechless then and just happy. That's brilliant, thank you. Thanks, Anne. Adriana? Adriana, can you hear us? I think you might be on mute. Can you hear me now? Yes, go ahead. Sorry, hi Manu. Um, so a lot of people were talking about before the game that especially the midfield battle will be crucial in this game. What do you think about that? Everyone will be crucial. I mean, um, as I've just said, like the quality itself, um, you have to take care of everyone. Um, but first of all, I think it's important that we focus on our strength and our beliefs in the team and uh, just, uh, yeah, 
ticking our boxes, our task for the game, and that's the most important thing. And um, yeah, never underestimate any team, uh, any any player. But as I've said, it's important to focus on ourselves to get our things done, and then hopefully score the goals which uh, will be needed. Art De Roche from the Athletic. Hi, Manny. Hope you're doing well. Um, I was just going to ask because um, I guess last season, obviously, when you won the Golden Glove uh, in the league, um, I think that was a period of time where uh, the squad really relied on you in certain points. And um, I was just wondering, with your point about competition, with obviously new goalkeepers coming in, has that maybe pushed you to another level this season? I mean, everything pushes you to another level. I think it's uh, really important to have like competitive goalkeepers in your little squad as well. I mean, we have so many games to compete in, and um, yeah, it's important to have not just only one standing on the pitch. But um, yeah, I'm thankful how uh, good our goalkeeper group is, and uh, we are pushing each other. We are listening to each other. And no matter who is playing, we uh, we uh, always put the team first. So that's the important thing. So. Yeah, Golden Glove was last season. Hopefully, I can achieve that this season as well, and uh, we just have to look forward. Brilliant. We'll leave it there now with Manu and be back shortly with Jonas. Thanks, everyone. Thanks. See you tomorrow.